got his cross on his legs, one out of the
the fourth official has indicated a three minutes additional time. Well, that's the fourth official has indicated a three minutes additional time. Well, that's the fourth official has they really do, and that was uh, a was very lucky to get that with that, but it just flopped. So uh, it'll be hard lines on Swimming Orange, but that's what it's not. It's a poor decision by the referee. They're going to be able to take that three minutes over the floor. That's what it is. We've got 7.30 from inside the penalty area. That's what it is. That's what it is. Jason, many, many congratulations. You des thoroughly deserve that win. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, playing at home is a bit of an advantage, especially in the midweek, and I think it proved tonight. Um, you know, they've played a lot of games in a short space of time, and I thought the second half, once we got the first goal, I thought we took control of the game and, and, and we deserve to win. Previous playoff experience by yourself seemed to be a deciding factor tonight. Yeah, I think we've got some big players in there, and you know, in the big game, um, big games that we've had over the season, they've always come to the fore. Um, not only this year, but last year as well. We've played in some big games over the last five, six years, um, and I think that proved tonight. I think we, you know, every man and his dog there tonight was, you know, was exceptional. It was difficult conditions, difficult um, wind and, and blizzards, um, but it was just like um, a bit surreal because it was exactly the same as Burst goal last playoff last year. So. Once we got the first goal, um, it was important. I think it was AJ's shot that just, you know, how the keeper saved that, I'll never know. You just sometimes think, is it destiny going to be not in your hands, but but fair play? You know, Callum, um, he's been terrific all season and he's and he's pulled off a great free kick and, and, and he's set us on the way. That's a trademark free kick from him, isn't it? Because he must have scored half a dozen of goals just like that this season from set pieces. Yeah, I, I said at half time, I, I honestly thought he'd scored in the first half where it's just gone past the post. I thought it nestled in the net. Um, he's got it in his locker. He's got he's got great quality, as was proved um, by being selected in the team of the year for the for the Evo stick, you know, and rightly so. But we've got we've got some good players in that dressing room, and, and, and tonight, you know, it wasn't the greatest football game, but but neither was last year. Um, it's about getting over the line, and, and we did that tonight, and, you know, and roll on Saturday. Defensively, you were very disciplined as well, because one or two silly errors have crept into play in recent weeks and cost you goals, but there was no sign of anything like that tonight. I think our our recent form's been good. Um, you know, we, yeah, we, we've we seem to uh, we, we seem to uh, you know one chance, one goal with us. You know, we create quite a few and, and don't take our chances. Um, but tonight, I think we we, we limited them limited them to, to very little. I thought the back four were outstanding, but they didn't just do that on their own with, with Dan. You know, I thought the forwards worked the socks off. You know, both defensively for us and going forward. So it was it was a collective effort from from back to front. Stourbridge now in the final on Saturday, the brewery field, there's going to be rock and there's going to be a four-figure crowd in here, no problem at all, but it's going to be a very difficult game because Stourbridge have also had a very good season, they've reached the first round of the FA Cup just like yourselves, so nothing's going to be easy is it? No, I mean you don't expect to be at this stage of the season do you, you know, I mean four, four teams in the playoffs and four quality teams, they're all there on merit, um, but we know what they're about, they're a good organised physical side. You know, and if we don't compete with them, if we don't match them, if we don't, you know, do the ugly side of the game, which 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 we have done tonight, um, we won't we won't get anything. But we've got to make sure that it's a long journey for them coming up here, and we've got to make sure with that home advantage and the place rocking, as you said, um, we use that to our advantage. Let's not kid ourselves. We're 90 minutes away from Conference North football, and who'd have said that eight or nine years ago at Spenny Town Football Club? You know, we're in a real good position. Um, you know, let's see where it takes us on Saturday night.